Hello guys. In this video, I'll be showing you how to invite the tourney bot and how you can host tournaments on your server. And I'll also be showing you how uh, people can register for the tournament that you're publishing. So you'll know the entire process of how you can uh, host a tournament using game.tv and the tourney bot. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, you have to go to the game.tv website. And uh, after going here, you have to click on invite tourney. Okay, so when you get here, it, uh, it's gonna ask you which server you want to add the bot on. Uh, so here you can, you'll get a selection of servers here. It depends on how many servers you are an admin of. So you will need to be an admin of the server to be able to invite the tourney bot. So this is the only server I have on this account. So I'm gonna click on continue. And uh, it, it asks you for the administrator permissions for game.tv. Uh, so you just authorize. Click on I'm not a robot. And yeah, just do. Let's do this, I guess. Uh, let's see. I think that's right. Yep. All right. Okay, so if you check here, so the tourney bot has uh, been added into my server. This is the server that I have for the tournament. And it sends you a few messages as well, uh, including the license agreement and like what commands work, stuff like that. Okay, so now what you do is this is how it's gonna look when uh, you invite tourney. It will take you to this uh, website, uh, game.tv slash dashboard. So normally how you can uh, access this website is you just type that. You just type game.tv slash dashboard and this will take you here, right? And this is where you completely control the tournament board and what uh, it does, you can check over here. So first let's just uh, click on new tournament. And uh, here it's gonna talk about AI, do not do this. Click on, okay, if you can choose to not show this again, but uh, let's not choose it, just cre uh, click on create manually. Okay, so now it shows you all the games that are available right now that you can host tournaments for using uh, game.tv. So let's just take Free Fire. Let's just take the solo mode. Okay, so uh, normally uh, this is the basic settings. In this page, it shows you the base, basic settings that uh, you can choose from, but uh, just always go to advanced settings. In advanced settings, all the settings from the basic settings are also available and uh, you can adjust a lot more things. So in this video, I'll be showing you all the details of how, how every function works. So let's start. So from basic info, right? There's four sections. Uh, so this is the tournament name. You can choose whatever name you want. I'm just gonna go for free fire test tournament. Right. And then you choose the, this is already selected through the template, but you can make changes if you want. So uh, we chose solo. So the game is free fire, solo mode, size is locked because it's solo and then number of players per match. I'm just going to go with 20 and here you can adjust the schedule however you want. So registration start period, this can be in the past as well. It doesn't matter. So for example, it's five, two now, but uh, it's five, one here, but it'll still work. And registration end period, when does the registration end? And the tournament start period, when the tournament starts. So let's just say, uh, so uh, let's take five, five and tournament start. Actually, let's increase it a little bit because I'm gonna explain in this video. So 515, uh, 515 is good. And 520 tournament start, right? And you can enable link over here for stream and you can insert your stream link here. This is basically just going to show up in the tournament info section when the, on discord. Uh, I'll show you uh, when it happens. Let's just uh, give a random Twitch channel of mine. Let's just take my channel and we'll put it over here. Okay. Now uh, this always should be the same. You should just select India country and the bot language is US always. And next. So now we're in the details section. So here you can uh, describe your tournament. Uh, so there's auto automatically uh, description provided by the bot, but you can change it to whatever you want. And here you can put in the rules for your tournament. And here you can put in the prizes. Uh, I'm going to be something like first gets hundred, like ten dollars, and second, or like for now since you're doing so, let's just it's, it's a free fire tournament, so let's just go for first gets hundred diamonds, right? And that's it. And here you can choose a tournament banner. You have to get this in this uh, amount, this resolution. Uh, you'll have to get it made. So if you are interested in that, you can put a tournament banner, but it's not required as, uh, of course. 
you can go ahead and not choose a tournament banner so let's go next so next is a platform so on the platform you always select discord and uh, here it will ask you which server you want to host it on so i'm just going to choose my one server that i have and that's it you can choose this option so it will always uh, choose this server that's cool and here roles to mention so in roles to mention what it does uh, so what, whichever role you choose so for example if i choose game.tv everyone with a game.tv role will get pinged by the bot and uh, it will show that the tournament is live that's what uh, roles to mention is next is show to roles in show to roles uh, this these people will not get pinged by the bot but they can still see the channels of the tournament like uh, i'll show you how it looks like once uh, we're done with the dashboard part and next is match channel visibility this is for moderators generally so uh, these guys will be able to see every single channel in the tournament so generally uh, how it works for a regular participant is that they will only be able to see the channel in which they belong to for example if uh, they are in a game lobby 1 and they qualify for a game lobby 5 or 6 then they'll only be able to see game lobby 1 and 5 and 1 uh, or like 1 and 6 but uh, whoever you put in this like so if uh, someone has a game.tv role they'll be able to see all the channels like game lobby 1 game lobby 2 game lobby 3 so that's what this does so this is generally for moderators geared to the moderators next is match settings in match settings you can choose the format so uh, you can so in solo mode it's free for all always so uh, for squad you might get different options and here in tournament types there's three types for uh, in any battle royal game right now there's three types so one is single lobby in single lobby only one lobby will be created of how many ever uh, participants so in this i chose uh, 20 participants in a lobby so there will only be one lobby in the tournament and whoever wins the lobby they will become the winners of the tournament next is multiple lobbies in multiple lobbies you can choose the amount of lobbies that are going to be hosted so if i choose five the number of slots of the of the tournament will become 100 which is 20 into 5 and there will be five lobbies when the tournament starts and the players will be randomly distributed in these lobbies Whoever wins in their respective lobby, they will be counted as a winner of the tournament. There will be no elimination or there won't be any like progression system in this tournament. So next one is elimination. So this is a single bracket system basically. Uh, how it works is for battle royale, uh, if you choose five lobbies, there will be five lobbies initially. And then you can choose uh, that there will be a round two. And from these five lobbies, you can choose uh, like top. So let's just say four lobbies, right? So you can take top five from four lobbies uh, move to the round move to round two so uh, you can take five into four which is 20 and you can create another uh, lobby there i'll show you the process of how it it's done so that's how you do this and then uh, you can click on so okay so that that is the elimination process i'll actually show it to you more detailed uh, in a more detailed way later on in the video so next is check-in uh, so check-in is a really good option what it does is when you turn this on you can have a check-in window and uh, this generally works very well with whitelist okay so these both uh, you should uh, turn it on if you're interested so i'll tell you how it works so when you enable waitlist what it does is if uh, for example for this tournament there's only 20 slots but if you enable waitlist more than 20 people can register and they will be put into the waitlist okay and when you turn on check-in with waitlist what happens is uh, there will be a check-in window you can choose how much or amount you want so what this does is, uh, right before the tournament, like 30 minutes before the tournament, the tournament bot sends everyone a check-in request and they will have to reply to the bot. If they don't reply to the bot, their slot will be given to someone who is in the waitlist. Of course, like people in the waitlist, they also have to check-in. Uh, if they don't check-in, uh, they'll, they're not going to get a slot anyway. So that's how this works. Uh, you should try it out. This is, uh, if, you, if your slots are getting full, uh, you know, completely full, then you should try this. This works really well. So there's another one called random player selection. You can only choose one between random player and waitlist. So in random player selection, uh, this is uh, in general, you should never choose this. How it works is uh, there's no first come first serve basis anymore. Uh, uh, the, the bot chooses the number of uh, the people who play in the game, the match, the bot chooses randomly. So for example, if I registered today and someone registered tomorrow, uh, there's a chance that I might, I might not get a chance to play and uh, the guy who registered uh, tomorrow that guy can get a chance to play in the tournament it's random completely so uh, don't turn this on this is for very very situational circumstances and then there's another option for private tournament so if you enable this you can have a password 
and uh, people only with people with the password will be able to uh, you know register for the tournament so if i try to register for a private tournament it'll ask me for a password and i'll have to give this password so that's how it works so for this uh, for this particular video i'm just going to not choose anything of this so that it's uh, pretty much simple and i'll show you how it works okay so now it's 59 and okay so registration will put this as uh, 511 now and this will put it as 530 512 should work okay, we click on next next now all this was already done so now you create the tournament okay so okay so there's already a tournament with this name so you're just gonna do one two three something like that and it'll ask you whether you just want to save this as a draft or you want to publish it right now so we're going to publish it right now so the tournament has been created so when you look here uh, this is the tournament basically this is how it looks so there's two channels tournament info and uh, tournament lobby so this is all, so these are all the details that you put into the back back end and it posts them here so and it posts the stream link here so this is the only thing that the stream link uh, does it just puts a link over here through the bot so it's not a big deal really apart from that it shows you the schedule whichever schedule you put in and the prizes you remember i put in first 100 diamonds and these are the automatic rules that are already set you can set this to whatever you want so that's how it looks and there's a tournament info channel this is the same over here but here uh, only the admin will be able to uh, message over here uh, the participants won't be able to message over here and here everyone can message so how how so the next step is how can people register so this is the registration process you type this command it's exclamation mark register and uh, then the tournament board it sends you a message this is the message that you get it is asking me to uh, use this command to register to complete the registration process basically so i just copy paste this over here and over here i'll just put in my name so i'll just put in some name okay okay so the tournament registration has already been closed so you can so this is a good way to explain that uh, you can actually adjust the timings so you can go here so this is how uh, the tournament looks once it's published okay it shows you all the details and here you can see the players registered and here you can see the lobby so how do you access this right i'll show you how you can access this so all you have to do is type game.tv slash dashboard once you do that it will take you to the main page and this is your tournament that you published okay so you take this and uh, so you can, so basically you can edit now so i'm going to change the registration period to 513 and tournament start to 514 and next all right, so now it's updated. Now it will allow me to register again. So we have to go and type register again. There we go. And now uh, let's do the join solo. Right. That's it. Now I'm registered for the tournament. And uh, if you see here, you can go to players register. Let's just refresh. And my, I'm here. Right. That's how it works. And uh, let me just uh, register with a different account as well. So I have Discord opened up here. So I'm just going to type register here. And I'm going to get the same message. So copy paste and then I type my name. And that's it. I'm registered as well. So let's just wait another minute and uh, whenever, so in this page, so this is where you can control how the lobbies are going to work. So over here, you will be able to, you'll get a create lobby option. So right now it's 512 and I set it as 513. So I'll just refresh once. So you get the create lobby option over here like this. When you create the lobby, it, it just creates uh, all the lobbies as much as possible. So here you can go to the lobby and you can see that because only two people registered it only shows two here so uh, when the so when the match is done what you so okay i'll just show how it works as well so once you create the lobby over here you get an option over here there's a lot of uh, different things that you can do with this the first thing that you should do always is you can click on create channel and uh, you can choose the time as to when the match will happen so let's just take 5 uh, let's just take 514 right and we just create channel okay so when you do this let's check it here so when you do that uh you can go here and you can see that it creates a game lobby channel 
and in this it's just me and my other account these two accounts so only the people who were put into that lobby will be able to message here so the moderator will also be able to uh, see all these channels of course so the moderator will come here and uh, so whoever it is or like whoever is hosting the tournament they can come to this game lobby channel and they can be like this is the room code uh, room id and this is the password and basically only people in this room will be able to see it so they'll see this and they'll join in in the game and you can spectate that game and when the game is done uh, you can go back here and you can record score so when you click on record score this shows up so you can have multiple rounds as well so there's only one round if you want to do multiple rounds for the same lobby you can click here okay so first we need to put in the scores here so let's just say i got five kills rank score i was second this guy got four kills and he was first right this is what we put in and you update score and so you can also send message through here to the lobby it's an option or you can just type it through discord so you can also send a lobby image so when you send lobby image it will show here it will paste the lobby status here that this is what happened in the lobby total amount of score and this right and you when that is done after recording the score you can click on end lobby and you can click on number of winners so it depends on you completely if you're doing elimination as i said you take five top five red or whatever number you want to put in and then you can move on to the next lobby so you put in the number of winners here so since there's only two i'll just put in two and it'll ask you a question since there was only one lobby all lobbies have finished would you like to end the tournament i'm gonna be like no let's not do that right now and you can click on close and so if it's an elimination what you can do is you can click on add lobby over here so this will be second round right and you can click on import now import now is basically okay let me do that again so you can click on import now when you do this uh, it allows you to take players from the previous lobbies it will show all the previous lobbies here so all the lobbies which are in tier one it will show up there and you can choose that and you can choose which players move on so i can just click these two players and click on import and if i do that this lobby will also have these players now and you can put in like whichever players you want in here so usually you will put in people who so whoever uh, who are qualified from tier one to tier two you put in those people so for the example that i gave you will take top five from each of the lobby over here and you put them here and over here also you can click on create channel when you click on create channel okay here's a good option create channel and it'll show up here another lobby is created right and this is the next lobby basically so that's how it works and then you can click on record score again one 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 and lobby number of winners too so it'll ask you do you want to end you, you don't need to end from here so you can go here and there's another option here to end the tournament click on end tournament here and you can click on continue and that's it the tournament finishes with this and the winners will be announced over here so that's the process of so i've showed you everything i've shown you how you can publish the tournament how you can invite the bot and uh, how you can manage the bot from the back end and how people can register so everything is in this video so if you guys have any questions please reach out to me i might have definitely missed a few things because this is a one take video a proper is uh, a proper video is being made for this and when that is uh, there everything will be extremely clear but till then you can dm me okay thank you very much for watching this video guys see ya